What are we making? To, what are you going to show us today? Okay, I'm really excited about this one because this is lace up heels. Now, every once in a while, every once in a while, we'll see a trend happen in, in footwear where we'll just see it on the runways and it's a huge trend on the runways and, you know, the fancy schmancy people can wear it and then it kind of trickles out and that's it. But every once in a while, one will trickle all the way down to the Aldos and the Steve Mans and we'll see it everywhere mm -hmm. and then we know it's here to stay for a little while. Lace up heels are that one right now. It's kind of bringing in that 70s boho vibe. We're yeah. seeing them in gladiator sandals. We're seeing them and high heels and all of the fashion it girls. Chrissy Teigen here is, is wearing a pair of my favorite and they're kind Ooh. of more simple. They're low around the ankle, but they're very chic. Look Ooh, at that. La, la, and then we also Teigen. have, yeah, Miss Kendall Jenner and this is the really intense version all the way up to the knee. And so this is being done in all sorts of fun ways and it is really cool. Um, and we can actually do it with heels we already own. We don't have to go out and buy. How what? Many, I say what? How many pairs of shoes do you have, Erin? How many quick? Oh, God. Go. Uh, 50. There you go. Yes. I knew it had to be Probably up there. more. Girl after my own heart. Uh -huh. That's uh -huh. right. Don't ask Christina. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. Yeah. Mark. So sweet to me. All right. All right ma uh, materials. Sorry. Yes. Materials that we need. So the only materials you really need are some type of lace up, whatever you choose. Now, what's going to dictate the materials that you get is really the color of your shoe. So when you're going to look for them, bring one heel with you. So for this one, I brought this red heel and I found this red velvet um, lace was the closest, uh, ribbon rather, was the closest to this color. It doesn't need to be velvet, it just worked best. Could you <laughs> use purple velvet if you wanted with purple and red? Yes, and so, uh -huh. so first you would do like here, let's say this is a black patent. Uh -huh. So for us, this sort of black this patent ribbon was what worked really well. Yeah, and yeah. you know, I, I'll show you, I added tassels to this, but it, was, it worked them. because it was the black patent. Then mm -hmm. over here, this was navy blue, Blue, and I happen to find a navy blue velvet. It's beautiful. That's great. Now say, what if I have legs that actually go all the way up? Then you cannot do this. <laughs> uh, then no, I'm out. out. I'm out. You're out. Get out of here. You're yeah. Out. Then um, and if you want, like you were saying, Christina, if you if oh, you, you can't that find a wall. color, yeah, there it is. Yeah, exactly. So no. if you can't find a color that matches perfectly, and you're just finding that it's just a little off, totally abandon a matching it and go with a pop of color. I Choose love to go that. with something yeah. that's going to bring a little bit of vibrance to it. We did that here too. These well, were a pair nice. of lace up, and we did a little wine color. So you can see. The difference. So sure. the the materials that you use are there's freedom. You can do absolutely anything. It's really just a matter of finding something that complements your shoe. But the actual material itself, whatever you want. All right. So it's really easy. How do we get started? Yeah. Okay. I smell a glue gun. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so I'll show you when I use the glue gun. It was really only for one of them. Now most of our heels, uh, crazily enough, like ninety percent had this this little nub in there and this goes around our ankle right a lot of our heels have these these had them um, the ones i'm wearing now had them um, both of those over there so that's how it comes so if you want to use these you just pull that out mm. and take whatever your material is and you just replace yeah, it another pair just of replace. shoes I and then them. exactly and then it doubles up on your shoes and now you know you don't need to go out and buy a new pair this doesn't permanently change your shoe in any way you could always put that back in right exactly so if you I wore that shoe I'd be 17 feet tall yeah you would way to rub it in <laughs> way to rub <laughs> it in <laughs> it's so yeah. hard being so tall and beautiful oh my god <laughs> yes so this is one way that it would work and you can see we just laced it up and when you're over it or the trend fades as trends do you yank it out and you put your you original, back to the original right back in. Oh, nice. Now, if you want to do tassels like I did here, I thought this was really fun. And you can see on the back, all I did is put my tassel through mm -hmm. and hot glue it down. That's just that's a trip it. to Michael's. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's, yeah. Exactly. That's and these tassels, correct, yeah. you know, this is another thing that's been everywhere right now. So this is incorporating sort of two really fun trends. Mm -hmm. Now, the last one I saw, I thought I thought that this was really cool because I hadn't thought about it. I saw a pair of pumps that were fully laced up, and I really had only thought about doing this and things like this, not a fully closed-toed shoe. So what I did, I did it to this pair right here. I'm going to put my hand in there so you can kind of... They're like high heel ballerina slippers. Exactly. Oh. And you know what? All you need is this. It's a leather hole punch. <clears throat> so... I've done a couple here, you can see. What you'll do is you'll pick your placement, and then I use like my scissors just to say like, okay, that's about even, I marked with a pen, and I marked with a pen. And then take it like this, wait till you guys get in there, put the circle down first so you can see where it goes. Actually, will you do this oh, for me? Sure. I feel like you seem strong and- Listen, I work <clears throat> out. So <laughs> this should be easy. You're gonna it need to, two hands really like push. Oh. Yeah. 
But okay. Yeah. Keep going. Uh, get the veins. <laughs> Yay! It worked. Oh, you did. Oh, that was that little sound. See? I thought it was gonna be. And fun. there it is. So now all you do is this red ribbon that I took. I always recommend going over the top like this instead of coming in through the bottom. Go over through the top, and you'll just fold it. Like Does it that? just look pretty, or is there a reason why you do that? It just looks pretty. Okay. It just um, covers it. So it see makes now you, you more pull it through. Too. So it see does. how it looks on the outside. It's hard to tell because it's so bright red, but it comes through the outside and it just creates that nice clean line. Mm -hmm. right. So then when you go on the other side, you do the same thing and you go through the top and, and you just lace them all the way up. And when it's like this, imagine your foot in there. Now this is where your foot will be and then you lace it up around your ankle. Uh, That's so nice. you can do this to a pair of pumps or any of these heels that have this back and it's a super temporary fix. While this is a huge trend, go for it. It's so much fun and when you're over it, peace out.